Okay, welcome back, Zero K fans. This is Shadow Fury CC3 with another exhibition match. This time it's going to be Shady Bear versus Hokomoko on Shady Bear 18 versus Hokomoko. I'm sorry, I forgot there was a number after their name. I shall have to rectify this particular mistake. Anyhow, yeah, Shady Bear versus Hokomoko on Trojan Hills, which is, as I mentioned before, my favorite map. So let us go over it just for a moment. Oh, this is apparently one of the anti-Rust games before last week's doubles tournament. Interesting. Anyway, Trojan Hills. So, very, as the name suggests, hilly. Lots of hills. Lots of mountains. I, I like hills. I live in a mountainous area, so for me, it's, it's... I like... I like elevation changes like this. But, as you can see, very clustered metal. Unlike the last map, well, you have at least main clusters. The center of the map is fairly even. It's not a particularly clustered spread out. But the edge of the map where you start out, you have clusters of three, which is more typical. And there are still clusters on these hills, so players will typically go... If they start here in the back, they'll typically go over to the east side or to the west, and then expand along the sides. If they start over forward, which neither player has, which is a little unusual, both of them going for a defensive start instead, but starting forward, typically players will go along that side. So if they start here, they'll go on the side, hit the top, and then both players will try to take the center. Center is key. Or very nearly key. The sides are important, but the center, you want to take the center. Everyone goes to the center. So that is the map. Now let's get to the game itself. Also, I'll say hi to Kawaii Dragoness who showed up because I was watching her stream. Which she's doing she does roguelike stuff. She did, at least. Does more now. Kinda cool person. Has a really good set of videos on various esoteric roguelikes. The one that stuck out to me most being Hyper Rogue. If you like the idea of hyperbolic geometry and you want to adventure in a hyperbolic plane, go play that. It's kind of cool. It's free, too. Much like this. As with, as with this game, all roguelikes are pretty much free and open source. Anyhow, back to the game itself. So, Hokomoko going for Amphib Factory, which has been played a lot more recently. Amphibious bots, despite the name, are not purely for used on maps that are mixed water and land. They're quite useful on land, actually very much more useful on land than in water. Ducks and scalps, ducks and scalps being the only units that you can really use underwater without having to surface. But above water, you have a relatively well set up factory. You have your raiders, you have your rides, you have your skirmishers, everything's well laid out. And of course Shady Bear going for the Clickbot factory, the standard factory, kind of the basic one that everyone goes for. It's, it is a solid factory, at least in the early game. Later in the game, it's a little bit tougher to keep up. you got to be a bit more careful about unit compositions and make sure you use sharpshooters intelligently. Make sure you use the cloaking intelligently. But yeah, early on. Fairly standard. So, Hokomoko, I should point out, throughout the tournament was using Amphib. Every single game. For, I think it was Hokomoko. I can double check. I, I wrote it down, too. But I think it was every single game in the factory. They had... They had used Amphibs. And it was kind of silly. Oh, yeah, yeah, every single one, except for one game. The very first game I casted them used Cloaky. Every other game they used Amphibious. So I think they're really trying to push Amphib to see how much they could pull out of it, because Amphib is a factor that hasn't been played... I mean, it's been played more recently. It's gotten buffed recently, but for a while it wasn't played very much, because ducks were... Like, they had 400 health and 400 damage, and they cost, like, 250-something metal. So you could build, like, two a minute early on in the game, and they'd kill each other. If they weren't careful, if their missiles hit each other, it would one-shot each other. That was just silly. But now that they're more reasonable, like 340 health, 230 damage a shot, and 80 metal each, they now are quite commonly used. Very safe, very safe and solid raider. A weird raider skirmisher mix because of the rockets, but yeah, now we'll see. Now we'll see how that pans out, and yeah, glaives don't do especially well against... What am I saying? Against a group of ducks, no. Against a single duck, yes. That's what I mean. They're kind of a weird raider skirmisher mix. Really, it's just it's just a amphibious raider slash skirmisher. Because more of the fact that their range is tiny, and to have a comparable range to raiders, like they have skirmisher weapons. So it's a little bit awkward. I think that's probably why Hokomoko was playing around with that. They just want to know how much you can get out of Clokybot Factory. Shady Bear expanding quite a lot actually. Shady Bear has taken a lot of the map. Hokomoko has only taken a couple clusters. In the home cluster, and then the one to the east. But they haven't really taken much else. 
Decent power infrastructure. Nice setup for overdrive if they want later. At this point, they don't have enough energy to make that work, though. Oh. Yeah, sure. It's... Sorry, someone's asking for the link to Cowboy Dragoness. I, I should point out that Hyper Rogue was just one thing that she did on YouTube. So... Game is done. Sorry, I'm... Things are lagging out slightly. But back to the game, yeah, every amphib... Okay, Orphelia's pointing out that every amphib bot is an assault, and I agree with that, actually. Ducks with 340 health compared to, say, 200 from Glaives? Yeah, they can handle static defenses pretty well. And Shady Bear is... Oh, yeah, see, this is what I mean. Ducks tend to shoot each other to encourage the others. Thankfully, like I said, no longer necessarily fatal, but still. It's... It's a bit of a problem when using ducks. It's one of the hardest parts, like... Like I said, nerfing their damage was a real buff because of that property. But yeah, they have a tendency to friendly fire. It's it's annoying when playing ducks. So at this point, Hokomoko, going for air, has quite the advantage, really. They've taken a lot more territory than... Sorry, Shady Bear. I should say, Shady Bear's going for air. They've taken a lot more territory. They've taken a lot less damage overall. Hokomoko, with a few boys around... I'm, I am surprised they haven't gone for scallops. I mean, scallops would basically be the answer to this situation. But they haven't built any. Like, just go in with the shotgun. Just shotgun them. Oh, that's what it does. That's what it does. It's a, it's meant to kill large groups of light units. But no, they haven't gone for that. Shady Bear, however, is going for the Raven. They want to build up... I think they want to just end this. I get three or four Ravens, probably take out the commander. That'll severely weaken the economy. At this point, with plus 24 metal, that's a sixth of the economy that would go down right away, killing the commander. And... Oh, sorry, Orpheles. Apparently, Orpheles' internet is not super great. That's surprising. Okay, well, I will have to go and reduce the stream settings, or reduce the stream quality slightly, I guess. I thought I'd have... I thought I found a good point where it was good quality and good bit rate. I don't know. Okay, Hokomoko point out the slowness of scallops. Okay, Hokomoko, you'd know. You're the one who's been using this factory a lot. So, fair point. It's just... Actually, you know what? Fair point indeed, because Hokomoko has actually pushed back those glaives. They've managed to get out of there, and... The one nice thing about using ducks all the time, and I think one of the reasons Hokomoko might be, is... Ravens aren't quite as powerful as they might otherwise be. If they try to go for a group of ducks, they could easily get themselves shot down. Or at least heavily damaged. Not necessarily shot down right now. Like, four ducks will not do it. I think... Let's see, what do they have? Yeah, 1,000 health. It will take about five ducks to do it. Assuming they all hit. But given the Raven nerfs recently, they're actually not going to be... The Ravens are not as likely to hit the ducks as vice versa. And... Oh, this Raven's dead. Most painful thing, thanks to slow... Unfor oh, except Hokomoko missed the micro on that one. Oh, if they had pulled that duck back one more step... One more step, it would have been perfect. Would have killed that raven off easily. That is painful. Hokomoko must have just changed, must have shifted perspective just for a split second, just too long. And now at this point, these ravens are getting distracted by the ducks. They aren't going for economy. They aren't going for the commander. The commander is perfectly fine. And Hokomoko's economy is as strong as ever. In fact, they've now taken more of the map. They've exploded back. I mean, Shady Bear had a bit of an advantage early on, but Hokomoko is just running it back. I think in part because the switch to ducks against the ravens, like the ravens are really focusing far too much on the ducks, and at this point, if it weren't for the glaives distracting them, those ravens would be dead. But thanks to the ra thanks to those glaives, the ravens were fine. Like good synergy there. That's exactly what Shady Bear needs. But Hokomoko at this point, they have the western side of the map. They have they're taking the eastern side of the map. They've taken the center pretty convincingly. They have a few ducks going along here. There's nothing going to stop these ducks to get rid of this western expansion. But are they going to go for the main base? I think they are, and that is going to be a bit of a problem. You never want to go to the main base if you don't have to early on. Well, okay, the ducks no longer exist, so... Moot point. They have ceased to be. But that would have been something. At any rate, Hokomoko... Using their... I mean, they're using their economy very nicely. As well as they need to. I am a bit surprised they haven't done a factory switch yet, honestly. Especially given the fact that they could use more, or at least get anglers. Like, the ducks work okay as a bit of a deterrent, but when you were dealing with seven ravens, eight ravens, how many ravens are there? 
Almost a dozen. Eleven ravens? Yeah, that's not exactly a deterrent anymore. That's not a de deterrent at all. I'm sorry. That's... That's not really useful here. Anglers, on the other hand. Anglers would be the way to go, but not ducks. I'd use the dedicated anti air at this point, I think, is the best option. Because, like I said, the ducks are a bit of a deterrent, and there are t two dozen ducks. And now the commander's going down, Hokomoko about to lose their commander. But at this point, it's far less damaging than it was at first. Far, far less damaging. Because, well, they had 54 metal. Like, that was not even 10% of their metal. And at this point, the ducks, at the same time, as the commander was being killed, using that distraction, Hokomoko comes in, because frankly, the commander didn't matter anymore. Takes out the metal extractors, weakening Shady Bear's economy back to about half. This is... Well, this is basically going to be game. I think Hokomoko has taken this. And enough ducks coming in here. There's just too much. The Ravens, even if they... If, once again, to encourage the others. Seriously. The ducks just... They, they never miss an opportunity to kill each other. So annoying. But yeah, anglers would be needed, except for the fact that Hokomoko just... I think they just have too much pressure here. Like, it would help a lot. These ducks would have a much greater lifespan if there were anglers along with them. They have... Like, Hokomoko has the economy to maintain that. I'm a bit surprised they haven't actually taken advantage of this. They could very easily do so, and... Yeah, no ang... Just ducks. Just loads of ducks actually going in one at a time. Hokomoko, if there's anything that's going to cause this game to be lost, it would be the fact that these ducks are going in one at a time. I mean, I don't know who won this game, don't spoil it for me, but this is a replay, by the way. But it is going to be... Okamoko's one weakness right now is the fact that they're running their units in one at a time. A group of ducks would be fairly scary, even given all the ravens, it would still will the numbers down a bit. Throwing in anglers, switched up like that, that would be even better. And Zeus coming in from Shady Bear, they want to take care of this. Zeus, by the way, does have a range advantage, I believe. 280 Elmo compared to... 250, so they have a very slight range advantage. They definitely have the stun advantage because of the EMP effect. Wow, why? Seriously, these ducks are going in one at a time. Two dozen ducks. Most of them are just milling about in the center of the map. Sort of. Where are they, anyway? Not in a great spot. Hokomoko instead going for static defense anti-air? This is just bizarre. Build anglers. There's got to be a reason why they didn't build anglers, and Hokomoko, please tell me. Why did you not build anglers in this game? I'm curious. I mean, I get that the ducks were doing a decent harassment job, but I'm really curious why the anglers, or lack thereof. And at this point, Shady Bear can't even see what's going on here. Well, Hokomoko, on the other hand, has... Well, they have a radar in their main base, but that's about it. They don't have anything other than that closer to their opponent. So now the player really well aware of what their opponent is up to, but at any rate, this is basically going to be another expansion gone. That is... that's there. Anyway, that is... also, by the way, in case you're wondering why I have the stream on both, I split the stream this way because... Oh, Rust. Tokumoko pointed out it's probably Rust why they didn't go for the Anglers. That makes sense. It's very easy to get bogged down locked into a single unit type. You just want to do one unit type. And that's... That is going to be ducks in this particular case. And at this point, Hokomoko is... Wow, why is Shady Bear going for artillery? That's even more bizarre. I guess, okay, that kind of makes sense because there's a fair amount of static defense over here. But it's not that great. I wouldn't suggest it against all these ducks. I would suggest the Zeus. Zeus is okay. Glaives work for... Uh, Glaives and Ravens together have been working fairly well. And the Zeus as well has the range advantage. Doesn't stun out in one hit, though. Worth noting. Very important to point out. They do not stun out in one hit. But anyway, yeah. I split it because... The idea is Hitbox is more the mainstream, but people want to watch Twitch. Like, so I just do both because people want to watch Twitch and then... The idea being that they'll find out about the Hitbox stream and then go to that. Because it's easier to get a lot of people on Hitbox... Like, to get Hitbox streams big enough that people will see it on the main page. But it's... Twitch is just the thing that people want to watch. Like, if they want to watch a stream, they're going to want to watch it on Twitch. That's just what people want to watch. So I have to deal with that. And this is where the Razors actually pay off! 
Okamoko able to tear apart most of these Ravens thanks to the Razors. Tear apart the Commander, but that's honestly a footnote at this point. A Shady Bear throws in the towel, and that... Wow, tore apart all those Ravens. Slow build-up, but wow did that ever pay off Okamoko. I still think the Anglers would have been a better idea, but... Hey, it worked. So I'll give it that. And that is... That is game. We've seen GG from Shady Bear, and that... And now we see their entire base going down, so that is game. That's it. They have a few Zeus here on a nice assault path. Could have possibly taken out something, but nope, not gonna happen. Anyway, I'm gonna throw up that link that Astro asked me for. Because I... If I can find the chat... Oh yeah, right. Anyway, that's... That was the link. I think it's the same thing on YouTube as well. So, that is that game. I'm going on to one more game that is going to be between two players, one of whom will win. Flipstep and Go Go Dancer. Slightly less even than this last game, but it's going to be on a Ravaged V2. Stay tuned for that. It'll be up in just a moment.